<clears throat> shalom, shalom. All praises and all the glory goes to Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakadash. <clears throat> shalom, love Akarium, Shaw Yasharala. Double honors to the head apostles, my elders, my spiritual parents. Through the spirit of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, believe that through faith. You know, that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai has sent these men to be the leaders of Israel today. Um, I want to touch on something. <clears throat> and don't mind me, just bear with me, man. Um, <clears throat> allergies are kicking my ass. Um, early morning, early morning plantation. Um, still a little tired, you know. Um, but bear with me, brothers. You know, if you really want to be edified to the spirit of Yah, by Shem Yah, bear with me. And um, I want to revisit a, a, a topic, the sons of Yah, by Shem Yah, uh, Genesis 6, when it talks about the sons of God, who are they, you know, and um, because um, to revisit it, man, for those brothers that are coming in to the fold, Yahweh Rat Zav, they're part of the elect, you know, they're going to get edified through the Spirit. So the sons of God, man, you know, is a topic that, <clears throat> that has been misinterpreted, you know, and has been misspoken, you know, by the churches, mainly by the Christian church, you know, and the heathens and even Jake's, these false pastors. And I want to just put some light to um, the sons of God, which is us, man. The sons of God are the Israelites. We are the sons of God, you know. Okay, there's no such thing as um, angels falling from heaven. You know, there was a war in heaven and Satan and Yahweh had a fight. Nah, man, you know, you might, you might as well believe in mermaids <clears throat> and leprechauns and all that shit. But through the spirit of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, the sons of God, it is the Israelites. See, there's a story being told here. In the Bible, there's a story. And there's an origin for all things, man. You know, just like you see things grow in stages. For example, if you have a, um, a frog, before it becomes a frog, it's a tadpole. Okay? Everything grows in stages before a butterfly you know, it goes through what is called a metamorphosis stages. You know, it's a cocoon, and then it's then it bl breaks and blossom, and you know, becomes a beautiful butterfly. So everything is in stages: a tree, a plant, a fruit, a vegetable. Everything is. Uh, you you need seeds, and then <clears throat> it's called a seed. Then when it grows, it becomes a plant, or you know, you give its name or fruit or whatever. So there's no difference in us, man. You know, we were once called sons of God before we were called Israelites. There were stages. There's the origin of all things, man. Okay, so when you hear Abraham being the Hebrew and Lot and uh, Enos and Enoch and Methuselah and Adam, we were all, they were all sons of God before they were Israelites. Okay, and this is why you have to understand uh, the deep secrets of Yahab Bashem Yahushai, which is reincarnation. If you don't understand reincarnation, then you're going to be lost. You're not going to understand the song. You're not going to give, you're not going to understand the story in the Bible. The Bible is a story. It's a novel, a spiritual novel, you know, and it's all about the sons of God, okay? How they fell, you know, from the grace of Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, and the Lord punished us, and how we're now coming back to the good graces of Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, the first fruits, the elect, the Bayaf Dawada, okay, the elect. So the sons of God are the Israelites, and I'm gonna get some scripture. Let's start off <clears throat> uh, Genesis six and four. These were giants in the earth in those days. And also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men. So the daughters of men would be the women from the other nations. Just like today, man, you know, 
you know, we um we 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 could we could see a a, a Jaff a woman, a Ishmaelite woman, you know, that could be very attractive, you know, a Moab or Edomite, you know, you know from these other nations, man, you know, it, it's it's no difference, you know, and we we're men, the Lord the Lord created us to be fruitful to produce. You know, this is why men, we love sex. We love it because we were created for that purpose. And uh, and an Israelite man, he could bring back, you know, the seed of Yasharala through any any woman, any woman, you know, because it's what the seed counts, you know. So there's no difference. The sons of God, you know, at that time, you know, they seen the daughters of these other nations and um, they went on to them, man. And they bear children to them. The same became mighty men, which are of old, men of renown. Okay, yes, those became, those those children grew up to be mighty warriors and Israelites. There were sons of God coming out of the seed and the loins of those men that were the children of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Verse 5, And Yahweh and the God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. So they did a lot of evil and wickedness, just like today. You got Israelite men out here, you know, committing homo, homo acts. You had the Transformers. You know how people are committing wickedness continuously, man. And what did the Lord do? The Lord destroyed this, these people with the flood, man. <clears throat> so now the Lord is going to do the same thing in these last days. This is why the story of Noah and the story of Sodom and Gomorrah and the story of Lot, you know, it's always being compared to the time we're living in now. Okay, there's no difference. There's nothing new under the sun. Okay, now when you go into this word giants, and this, you know, I'm singing it to the choir like our brothers do. Those that understand this already, you know, you know, you know what's up. But for those that don't, you know, it's good for edification. And you go to this, it's an, uh, Napaya, Napaya, you know, if I'm pronouncing it right. And um, it means giants, Nephilim, okay? All right, Nephilim. Now, now this is very interesting, man. This, this Nephilim word, when you go to the root word, it means to fall, to be cast down, Nepal. Okay, you see? Of a violent death. Yeah, because the scriptures say for the wages of sin is death. And what did um what did Adam do? He transgressed the law. He disobeyed the Lord. And he went from a God state to a, a mortal state. Okay? A God state to a mortal state. Okay? See the Lord created Adam from the beginning. He was a God on the earth before he sinned. He created our the Lord's intention from the beginning was to create the sons of God to be immortal, okay? And that covenant, that promise is still at hand. We're still going to achieve God's state immortality. You know, we just got to go through hell right now because we disobey Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. But Adam was created to be a God. He was a God. He just fell. He sinned. And the scriptures say in Romans 6 and 23, for the wages of sin is death. Okay? But we were created to be immortal from the beginning. Let me see if I could get that real quick. This is Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 23. Let's get that real quick. All right? Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 23. Hey, Shalakia. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we were always created to be immortal. You know what I'm saying? That's from the beginning. Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 23. For Yahweh created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of his own eternity. You see that, man? So even from the beginning, the Heavenly Father created us to be immortal. Okay? The Lord created that. And everything is perfect in the eyes of the Lord. He is pure and perfect. So we're going to actually going to get that because he has to honor that. That was the intentions and the purpose of the sons of God. Okay, we were created to be immortal from the beginning, but Adam fell. You see, those sons of God inherit death through Adam. 
When you read Romans 8 and Romans chapter 5, it talks about the history of Adam, how we all fell. And this is so important to understand because Adam, if you could receive it through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, was Yahweh Shai. And that's why it says in Romans 5 and 8 that Yahweh Shai is only right for him to redeem us back because he fell and we all inherited. But through his spirit and his grace and his blood, and you know, we were redeemed and brought back. See, everything is about the elect right now. Yahweh Shai is doing all this first for who? For the first church. All right, the firstborn, the first fruits, which is the the sons of God that were in the spirit world before they came down, you know what I'm saying, in a fleshly mortal body, before they were cast down, okay, down from heaven. You, you understand from the spirit world. So the sons of God, when you go into that Hebrew word, it means to fall a violent death. Why? Because we inherit death, man. To fall short, look at this. To fall short, all right? And we fell short, man. We fell short to Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, man. Now, it's so interesting because we're going to go into some scriptures, man. We're going to go into something real quick. Um, just bear with me. We come down here. I got something here. It goes, um, this is uh, Genesis chapter 6, commentaries on the Blue Letter Bible, Matthew Henry. And when you come down here to the bottom... Um, no, right here. Um, let me see if I could get it. Hold on, Salakia. All right, let me see. Right here where it says two, it says mixed marriages. All right. It says the sons of God, that is, the professors of religion, who were called by the name of the Lord. See? Yahweh Hashem Yahshua called us Yasharala, which means prince of power. Okay, we are the sons of power. We are the sons of of the heavenly father, okay? And call upon the name, marry the daughters of men. That is, those that were profane and strangers to God and godliness. And those are those heathens. They don't know about Yahweh, about Shem Yahushua. Israel was the only one that were given that covenant. Israel, we only know the heavenly power. We only know Yahweh. We are his firstborn. Okay, the heathens, they are profane. When you read Revelation 11, verse 1, it tells you that they're out of the temple, man. They're not part of the temple. See, the temple that's being built right now is the elect, the Bayaf Dawadah, those sons of God that fell. But today, the same thing. We, we mingle with the, with the heathens. We, we, we observe and we follow their, their wicked traditions, you know. You see how people out here with being Muslims and Christians and Mormons, you know, all kinds of, of, of wickedness, man, and idolatry. So they marry the daughters of men. That is that those that were profane and strangers to God and godliness. The posterity of Seth, listen to this, the posterity of Seth did not keep by themselves as they ought to have done. Okay, they didn't continue in the righteous ways of the Heavenly Father. Okay, what they done was they did wickedness in front of the eyes of the Lord. Okay, both for the preservation of their own purity and the detested, detestation of the apostasy. Listen to this. They intermingled themselves with the excommunicated race of Cain. You see? So they started dealing with these women that came out that loinage in the loins of Cain, and Cain was the wicked one. The Lord said they were. He said here excommunicated because the Lord, the Lord um cast them out. He was a vagabond. The Lord put a mark on him, and told him you are the wicked. And what did the sons of God there? What did those sons that came from the the lineage of Seth? All right. They started intermingling with these women, just like Solomon. When you read the story of Solomon, you know, in um, well, First Kings chapter 11, when it goes into how he uh, uh, intermingled and married the heathen women, what did they do? They turned his heart, man, away from Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, yo. And they started ser and he started serving these gods. He started building groves for them in temples, man. He went off. Okay? 
And there's no difference today. And it wasn't no difference in Genesis chapter 6. Those sons of God did the same thing, man. Okay? Now, when you come down here to Genesis 4, 6, 4, these were giants. It's the word Nephilim, Nephar, right? Hebrew 5303. Now, when you go into the um, <clears throat> um, Psalms 82 and 6, what's, um, what's very um, interesting is the word there is uh, ye are gods, okay? And all of you are children of the Most High. All right, who who it is talking about? Ye are gods. This is the Hebrew word Alahayim, H four thirty. The same Hebrew word when you go into Genesis chapter one, when it says in the beginning, God the Alahayims created the heavens and the earth. Who were those? That was Yahweh Shai and the angels, the elect, creating all things. This is why. This is why Psalms eighty two and six David you know, uh, 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 address the men of the Lord, the, the, the elect, his men, through the Spirit. This is him saying through the Spirit, ye are gods, you are the Alahayims, you are those, you are the first fruit, you are the Bayaf you are those men from the beginning, the sons of God that was in the spirit world. So those Genesis chapter 6, those men, those men, those, those sons of God, those are the Israelites. Those are the elect, the first fruits, the first assembly, the first church, which was what? They originated from the from the spirit world, the heavens. See, the story was written already in the spirit world before it before it was manifested into scrolls, into tablets, into stone, and then down to us now, the Bible. Okay? So these are the same. And this is why Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai quoted Psalms 82 and 6. He quoted this and he said, don't the scripture say, I'm just saying in other words, don't the scripture say ye are gods? Who He, was, he wasn't talking to no damn demons that fell from, from, from heaven. No, he was talking to Israelites. He told them, and don't the scripture say ye are gods? So that cuts all that crap, man. Okay, now when you go into the verse seven, when it says, uh, and ye should die like men and fall, and fall is the same Hebrew word, 53.0 said, Nepal, that's in Genesis 6, to fall, man. It's the same Hebrew word, Nepal, that means to fall. When you go into the origin of Genesis chapter 6 and 4, it's the same word, Nepal, to fall. Who fell? The Israelites, okay? The Israelites. Before Jacob was called Israel, they were called the sons of God. This is that, that lineage of Seth, Adam, Enos, all right? And we're going to get that through the scriptures, man. This is the book of Luke, chapter 3 and verse 38. Okay, let me go back down to it. <clears throat> which was the son of Enos, which was the son of Seth, which was the son of Adam, which was the son of God. See, this lineage right here of Yahweh Shai goes back to the righteous sea line. This is the righteous sea line. This is the, this is the men of the Lord. This is, this is Yasharala right here, the princes of power. This lineage right here that goes back all the way to the son of God, calling them sons of Adam, sons of Enos, goes all the way back. This is going back to Yahweh Shai, okay? This is the posterity. This is the lineage, that righteous sea line, man. And you can't get around it. There's no way to get around it. So what did they do? Let's go to um, Psalms 106. We'll go down to verse 34. And this is talking about the sons of God in Genesis 6. They did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord Yahweh commanded them, but were mingled among the heathen. Didn't we just read that in the commentary? That they intermingle with the excommunicated race of Cain? Genesis 6, huh? They what? They went into the daughters of men, huh? 
So, but they were mingled among the heathen and learned their works. See, the sons of God committed idolatry. They committed idolatry. Just is nothing new under the sun. We Israelites are doing that today. Okay? They learned their works. The whole story of Israel, when you read the story, this this story of Yasharala. All they've done throughout history is learn the heathen ways. They became heathens. They disobeyed Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. They learned how to serve other gods made out of wood and stone. Okay? They praised these other gods, and the Lord got fed up with it. And the Lord came down on us, man. He put the hammer down on us, man. But we learned their works. And they served their idols which were a snare unto them. See? Which was a snare unto them. Okay? It makes you think about a trap. You know, you, you walk in and there's a rope with a, with, a, with a circle and you put your foot in and you caught up. So these idols are snared. They were snared to the sons of God in Genesis 6. And this is how they fell. Nepal, they fell. They fell down from a godly state down to what? To a mortal man. Okay? Verse 37. Yeah, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils and shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and of their daughters. That's why when you go into the law, I think it's in Leviticus um, Leviticus uh, 23, it might be mistaken, 18 or 23, it goes into the, the laws that the Lord gave us. And he told, you know, through, 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 through my shah Moses, one of the laws were that you should not uh, uh, commit or, or bring your seed, meaning your children, through the fire of Moloch, if I'm mistaken. You know, because that's what they were doing. Our people were sacrificing, you know, their children, man, in the fire, man, for these other gods that ain't have no breath. And today they're still doing it. We just, we just went back. We just uh, passed Halloween, man. And our people don't understand that spiritually they were doing that, man. They were giving their children unto the devil, man, to these spirits whom they sacrificed in the, into the idols of Canaan. And the land was polluted with blood. Thus they were defiled with their own works and went a whoring with their own inventions. Therefore was the wrath of the Lord Yahweh kindled against his people. You see, his people in so much that he abhorred his own inheritance, man. And this is why you were cast down, because the Lord was angry. He hated Israel. Before they were called Israel, they were the sons of God. And what did he do? He drowned them. He destroyed them utterly. And he's doing that again. He's doing it one more time, but this time it's going to be with fire, man. With fire, okay? With fire, man. Okay, and that's it, man. That that's 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 it. Let me let's go to Genesis five one and two. Let's go to Genesis five one and two. Okay, this is uh, Genesis chapter five and one and two. Let me uh, highlight this real quick. Genesis five. This is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day Yahweh created man, the Alahims in the likeness of God made he him. Male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam in the day they were created. Okay? Now, when you go down to the bottom of this, um, let me see. Uh, and then they, I think it's uh, Genesis 4. Let me bear with me, brothers. Bear with me. Here we go. All right. This is Genesis 4 and 25. And Adam knew his wife again, meaning, you know, he went down to her and she bare a son. And he called his name Seth, you know, because you know the story where Cain, the wicked one, did. You know, he killed his brother Abel, and the Lord compensated Adam and um, Eve. You know, this is why the word Seth means compensation, or um, I think another word that uh, it's, um, damn, what is that word again? Um, for a moment, it's just Seth was here for a moment. 
I mean, Abel was just here for a little moment. So uh, I think the word was transit, transient, something like that, you know, meaning he was just here for a moment, you know. Uh, for Yah for God, she said, have appointed me another seed instead of Abel, who Cain slew. And to Seth, to him also, there was born a son, and he called his name Enos. Then began man to call upon the name of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh This was the beginning. After the fall of Adam, after the wickedness of Cain killing his brother Abel, the Lord, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh already preserved a spirit which was able coming back through who through who jacob but before that he gave them another seed coming back see you can't the wickedness cannot win the story has to be preserved where the sons of god yasharala the princes of power have to continue in their lineage you cannot destroy the israelites this is why we're still here, okay? And we're, 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 we're on our way. We're at the end to reclaim back our God state, the elect, the house of David, okay? But what did they do? They start calling upon the name of the Lord. This is that lineage, okay? Enos. Then, and to, let's read it again. Genesis 4 and 26, and to Seth, to him also there was born a son, and he called his name Enos. Then begin men to call upon the name of the Lord. You see that? Then they started praising Yahweh by Hashem, calling that name. That's the name that was given to us. That's the name that's with us today. The same name. Think about that. That Adam, Enos, Seth, Noah. Our great forefathers, our ancestors that called upon that holy name, were calling upon that name. Okay? Called his name Enos. They begin men to call upon the name of the Lord. 